ones we normally associate with dogs. <laughs> Right? They are they are not, Michelle. I'm glad you brought that up because if you didn't, I was going to. This is Ed. Ed is a musher. That's the appropriate term, right? That is correct. Ed races in the Iditarod. We're going to talk a little bit about that and more on that at Fox 17 News at 10. But the question was, the number one question I'm sure most people have, well, these aren't the real sled dogs, but they are. This, These guys are the real deal. What Walt Disney shows us are the, you know, the beautiful blue-eyed Siberian Husky. And people kind of use them for dog sledding, but they're slower, they're more difficult to train, they're just a harder dog to work with. Where the Alaskan Husky, I mean, these guys are super happy-go-lucky, they just want to please. <laughs> Absolutely, they... they're trying to crawl up on Sean right here. <laughs> they love cameramen. <laughs> and um, you have how many of these at Nature's Kennel in the UP? We own approximately 150 dogs. <laughs> And we have, it's not just my wife and I, we have a great staff that help us, helps us with the dogs because we couldn't do it on our own. And uh, yeah, it's, I mean, they love what we do as much as we do, so why not? This is a mother and daughter team here, and there's the real mom over here. This is your wife, Tasha. So uh, two is about the minimum you can do when you're running the Iditarod. You say you have 16, but they're small and strong, correct? Small and strong, they're endurance athletes. These guys are running 100 plus miles a day for 10 days straight. So they're not big bulky bodybuilders, they're you know endurance runners, like marathon runners. Well, let's see it uh, happen here. As we step out of the way, Tasha will get them going. And you say, since uh, one of these is, <laughs> is a little more used to being in the house than she is running, she'll listen better to mom than she will to dad, correct? Yeah, the, the one on the right is, she's the mom of about half of my race team. And she's a retired sled. <laughs> as you can see, she is headed back to the car. <laughs> <laughs> when they see the Subaru over there, they head for it. But uh, there is a brake, but you try not to use it because the dogs steer it when you call one way or the other, the dogs will steer the sled, right? Yeah, it's all verbal command. G means to go right, ha means to go left. Uh, we use the brake as really a governor. Uh -huh. We try and get them just set into a nice 9 to 12 mile an hour pace when they're not running back to their car. <laughs> And um, it's, it's really the focus of a race like the Iditarod or, you know, the biggest race in the lower 48 states is a race here in Michigan. It's called the UP 200. It's 246 miles, and uh, we really only want the dogs running about 11 miles an hour during hmm. that race. Now, nobody among us who's watching will ever be in the Iditarod, but they can do this, and you do packages not only in the UP, but in, in the Mitten, correct? We do. We offer rides at Boyne Highland Ski Resort, and it's a great introduction for people into the sport. Like you said, not everybody wants to run Iditarod. There's only a few of us <laughs> souls out there to do that. But to go for a ride, experience the power of the dogs, feel the energy, and just do something completely different, Boyne Highlands is the perfect place. And would they sit in there? They are. We have a totally different sled. Oh, okay. This is a sled I race with. The sled we have at Boyne Highland Ski Resort we call a Queen Mary. It's really designed for the safety and the comfort of the guests. Okay, we're, we're getting the wrap here. Can I can I take off? Will they listen if I try it as we did earlier? Hey, TC. Hey, Mom, get them going here. <laughs> All right, girls. Okay, come on, girls. Guys, we'll send it back to you. All right, we may never see Dodie again. Yukon <laughs> Cornelius. Come on, girls. They're all girls. All right. All right. Well, hopefully